What's up, Sushi Squad? We are back as more. Do, 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 do. And today we are going to be doing the 45K series continued with the new and improved Gunslinger. So the Gunslinger update isn't on consoles per se. You guys have like half of the update on PlayStation and Xbox. Nothing has changed on Nintendo Switch, unfortunately. Um, but with like, it's very, very weird because you have some of the stuff from this update on console but you don't have the actual gunslinger change, you know? It's kind of weird. Hello, Rhinox. Uh, so anyways, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going into U11 Geode Surface, and then we're going to go into the Delves, uh, and we're not really going to end up doing anything beyond that. I'm just going to show you guys kind of a damage check analysis of how the class operates uh, at the end game with all of this power, right? Now... I am going to kind of run through uh, some of the changes. This is kind of like a summary video in a sense of uh, what we already ended up experimenting with in my uh, last Gunslinger live stream. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to end up using any of the hidden ring effects on this guy, which I don't really think that's going to make too much of a difference, honestly. So the three different hidden effects is going to be Berserk Slinger. So when using Run and Gun, you gain Berserk, increasing damage and attack speed, but greatly reduces movement speed, which could essentially end up being really good because Run and Gun is our ult, and that would just be heaps and heaps of more damage because of the attack speed. I don't know. Lock and Load Dodging gives an instant charge shot, resets after a short cooldown. So there's an internal cooldown to that. And then Stunning Ammo, Charge Shot Attacks have a chance to stun. So personally, I'd say that the Berserk Slinger is going to be the good one, but that reduced movement speed is going to end up hitting pretty hard. It looks like, unfortunately, I think this Neon Ninja is trying to follow me. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna just have to make a run for it, I guess, and hope that he's not following me. Uh, he might not be. Uh, so with the Gunslinger update, there's also a whole bunch of new, uh, you know, new mounts and junk like that that we can get out of the Ash and Waste and a bunch of our weirdo biomes and junk like that. But the biggest changes are obviously going to end up being the Gunslinger, which my god, he is being very uncooperative right now. Uh, Gunslinger changes are very minimal. They're not that great. You can see that our gliding is slightly different in its mechanics, but frankly speaking, I am not a very big fan of of the new falling mechanics like it does have a lot more control but you see that we also deal with a lot more knockback now the other thing too is that when we're in the air uh with our you know glide we can actually just roll now and that'll take us out of uh out of that ability but again the knockback is going to end up being a big issue so this is going through this dungeon without me actually using any flash, without me using any ultimate ability. And I can happily report that you can most definitely main the Gunslinger now. Uh, it's definitely a lot stronger than it once was, albeit not as strong as I would hope that it would end up being. Like it's not too, too much of a change. You know what I mean? So essentially they made it so that your charge shot generates a lot more quickly and on top of that it also applies a debuff to enemies which makes them take significantly more damage well i say significantly more but it's only like 10 percent more damage man that's a big boy um and through my rigorous testing you know i ended up doing a live stream where i was essentially just trying out the gunslinger on uh deep delves i was trying it on leviathans and stuff and i did realistic comparisons also showing you know, using like Shadow Hunter as an example of uh, a character where I didn't really need to put in too much effort, and I was completely outperforming my Shadow, uh, my Gunslinger. Now, keeping in mind, I don't have maxed out gear on this guy. I'm still pretty dang powerful. I got a maxed out set of gems, uh, but I am not rocking a C4 ring, so that would end up making a bigger difference than you would think. But I'm just saying, let it be known that this Gunslinger update is not as good as I was hoping it would be. Like, if we end up using our ult and then using our right click, it does still start shredding enemies. And the main question everyone's always wondering is, can I end up maining the class? Yes. If you want to main Gunslinger, you finally can. Uh, again, it's not going to be super duper ideal, you know, Gunslinger still is very, very lacking in comparison to other characters because we don't really have good movement speed on this guy. Uh, we don't really have good crowd control except for when we're using our ultimate ability and unfortunately the ultimate ability remains remotely the same. And so we don't really get to see 
any changes to the kit, which I find ironic because the devs specifically talked about in uh, in the patch notes anyway, how they put a lot of effort into the charge shot to make it so that the gameplay of the Gunslinger is different, which it's not. It's literally the exact same. The only difference being is that now you definitely want to tag enemies with your right click because of that debuff that you can end up getting on enemies. Now, again, the biggest issues with the Gunslinger is that we do not have uh, good movement speed, which means that we're not going to end up being a very good speed farmer comparatively to other characters. Our damage is also lacking as well. So you might have noticed that we're definitely killing these enemies, no problem, but it's not as good as some other characters could be. And if you're wondering why my movement speed is so significantly high, it's because I have all of the movement speed abilities in the skill tree list, right? So that kind of just makes every character speedy uh, or at the very least faster than a mount. And, you know, that does make a difference, which is very significant for pretty much every character because it means that if you have enough, uh, a high enough skill tree, uh, it means that you can essentially just use any character that you want even if they're not going to end up being nearly as effective as some others. So, you know, quick feedback. I would definitely have preferred it if the Gunslinger ended up getting some sort of movement speed ability. Uh, I would also like it if there was either a little bit more crowd control or if the ultimate ability uh, didn't require, like, if they ended up nerfing the cooldown, essentially, I think that would have been a much easier fix for the class instead of them just slightly changing around some numbers and kind of overhauling the charge shot. I mean, it's not really a rework as everyone keeps calling it. And it's also not really an overhaul because by definition, an overhaul would be like completely changing everything about the character. And Gunslinger remains pretty much the exact same where you're just reliant on your charge shot with your class gem. And then otherwise you're just using your right click a lot more often, your jump, you know, your number one ability is, it's definitely more functional now, but still is not really something that you would end up using for farming per se, because especially if you have Volatile Bounder or Gonda, I mean, this just covers so much more vertical space than the Gunslinger's Jump ever did. All right, anyway, that was five minutes of doing dungeons. So let's do a 136 delve, which arguably you've seen me do these delves on most of the 45k videos, it's just because of convenience, I have these delves ready to rock and ready to go. And they're kind of a good average example, you know, it's not going to end up being like the true end game experience in terms of how difficult delves can end up being, but it should end up giving you a decent enough example of how the class can handle delves as well as the boss themselves, because that's going to be the main takeaway from this uh, is the bosses because Gunslinger was always a boss killer. You know, no matter what, that's what players always ended up using it for. And again, I'm happy to report that you can use Gunslinger, but as I mentioned previously, in my testing, I found that other characters still outshine the Gunslinger by quite a significant margin. So I was able to, uh, in that last stream that I ended up referencing, I'll have a card in the top right in case you want to actually siphon through it. But essentially, I ended up fighting some Leviathans in both U10 and U11 on the Gunslinger just to test things out. And then at the end of it all, I uh, I essentially ended up like fighting a Leviathan. It took quite a while and I ended up dying at the end just because he tagged me with, you know, one of his one shot abilities in U10, whatever. It happens. Um, and then I ended up swapping over to my Shadow Hunter and it was significantly more easy and I just destroyed that thing. Like... Unfortunately, the developers don't seem to realize just how lacking the Gunslinger's power is right now. Honestly though, we're lucky that we even got a change because as those of you that have regulared the channel will know, uh, the developers had been asked time and time again whether or not they would end up changing the Gunslinger and their response almost all the time was just, why would we change the Gunslinger? Gunslinger's fine right? Because unfortunately, the developers don't really play this game very much. And so their perspective on things is kind of askew, right? So not only, you know, just the fact that I regularly play this game means that my opinion is a little bit more valid on whether or not a class needs a rework or not. But on top of that, I can acknowledge my shortcoming of I will main specific classes in this game, and I also more often than not do my testing solo rather than in a group. 
And that's where I rely on you guys in the community, in the comments, in the Discord, and so on and so forth, because you guys, you know, kind of put me in my place whenever I'm talking about like, oh, this class is, uh, you know, like for example, my most recent tier list talking about the strongest boss killer. Uh, and a lot of you guys were yelling at me uh, about the knight needing to be higher on that tier list and more specifically the boomeranger needing to be higher higher on the tier list because boomeranger on his own is not a very good boss killer but apparently is the meta if you want to call it that trope doesn't really have much of a meta um for a group of boss killers right just because with so many different boomerangers all triggering their abilities it just uh, anyways that's neither here nor there but i'm just saying that through hearing feedback from all of you guys, I understand that Gunslinger is still pretty lacking. That's the biggest takeaway from all of this. Myself, you know, I haven't main Gunslinger for years, uh, but I still swap over to the characters so that we can get good examples in these videos. But anyways, enough rambling, let's fight this guy. So hopefully I'm doing this properly, which probably not. So you can see that we've got significant, absolutely, killer amounts of damage what am i talking about the gunslinger is weak well i'll tell you the biggest issue with the gunslinger ironically is not the damage the damage on the gunslinger is actually really really solid the problem is trove's projectile net code so gunslinger as as far as i know this is all just uh, speculation of how the game is coded but i think that gunslinger is still on the old code as far as projectile detection is concerned and unfortunately it's like a 50 50 chance of whether your projectile even registers the hit on an enemy and that percentage ends up getting significantly worse as you have more people around you to make the server slightly laggier right because what's supposed to be happening with each of our projectiles, especially in our ultimate, is the projectile that connects with the enemy does a certain amount of damage, and then there's an area of effect cone around that projectile that does additional damage. And as you saw right there, for a split second, we ended up having all of our projectiles register the hit, and we just obliterated that boss. That's kind of where Gunslinger is at right now, and that's where I agree with the devs saying that the Gunslinger is, uh, you know, good in a, and in a solid place right now. The problem is just the game mechanics themselves are very limiting for ranged characters. I don't know if it's because they need to just change the, the code of how the projectiles work on the Gunslinger, update it to what the current classes end up doing. Uh, I think, you know, this was something, some residue from when I first started playing Trove. Um, Classes like the Shadow Hunter, we kind of get compensation because the class gem ability makes it a constant stream barrage. But still, a lot of those hits, uh, you know, don't end up registering on the enemies. Uh, but then we've got classes like the Dino Tamer, where we're actually shooting out a physical projectile rather than just VFX coming out of our character. Because VFX has a lot of room for error, unfortunately. So that's my takeaway from it, is that Gunslinger is at a point right now where it is quite powerful it's quite significantly stronger and more than likely is probably really really good in a large group of people you know you could probably end up doing the old shadow tower trick with a full room of gunslingers and one barb uh, to give the attack speed boost or even a bard now to end up giving the attack speed boost i don't know or the attack damage i mean but uh, the fact still remains that when I was doing that live stream the other day, it kind of just hit the wall like a ton of bricks where it was like, oh, the projectile detection is the main issue with the character now. The damage is fine. So anyways, long story short, can you end up maining Gunslinger? Yeah, you most definitely can. It's not going to end up being as, uh, you know, it's not going to end up having a high enough average of both damage and movement speed when compared to somebody like the Shadow Hunter or even the Solarian or something like that. But, Gunslinger remains, you can sleep soundly knowing that you can finally go back to this character. And time will tell whether or not, maybe maybe it is actually like God tier if all of the projectiles are willing to actually hit the enemy. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Smash like, sub for more. Buy the merch if you want to support the channel. And have a wonderful day, everybody.